hello friends today in this tutorial we will be looking at a very important topic in javascript which is cloning of objects so if you are learning javascript for the very first time this is a very famous topic objects are a complex data type and if you want to clone any sort of object inside javascript there are basically three methods so i will be showing you the practical examples of all these three methods and uh, this is index.html file so let me just change the title to javascript clone object cloning is something copying so if you just want to create a clone of an object javascript object you can use these three methods so let me just include the javascript file here which is script.js so this will be the main business logic of the application so we will be looking at cloning so cloning is a new word if you don't know cloning it is just means copy of something so if you're just uh, you have done inside your file system also so if you want to just copy anything you can right click and you copy it so this is all cloning cloning is a, just a word of means copy something so we will be copying here objects here javascript objects so if you don't know about the object object is a complex data type it can contain integer string any value let me create a person object here so in order to create an object in javascript you need to write uh, these brackets here curly brackets and inside this you can provide any sort of property let's suppose name uh, let's suppose john williamson Latham. so this is the name of the person you can also provide the numeric value as well let's suppose age 34 then you can provide also subject let's suppose computer science so these are some of the properties of the object here you can pro also provide country as well let's suppose new zealand so you can see there are four properties which are available in this object now to clone this object you will say that uh, if you want to clone any sort of variable let's suppose you declare a variable here let's suppose name you initialize it to something and if you want to create another variable which is name2 you will say that just equal to that one which is simple equal to sign that's it if you do like this what you will find out that uh, if you console log name and console log name two so what you will find out if i open this with live server you will see if i inspect element if i go to console you will see successfully the value is same here you can see name is also there name two value also same here but the thing is that if you want to change this value here let's suppose so name2 is equal to name here so if i change name2 here like this name2 is equal to something else if i change this value and if i again console log the variables here after this modification you will find that the values of both the variables will be changed here to this so this thing i don't want because uh, we want to preserve the original value which was there so you want to uh, preserve this original value without modifying the original value you need to clone it so for cloning it similarly if you want to do the same object if you want to apply the same uh, principle here if i declare copy object if i just equal to this person here and if you console log both objects here console log if you console log person and if you also console log this copy object what you will find that it will have the same value which will contain these two objects here you will see but the thing is that if i modify any value here let's suppose uh, copy object if i manipulate the name property let's suppose if i changed it so it will reflect in both the objects here you can see name is changed in the original object as well so this is not cloning this is just uh, modifying something inside the original value so this is not called cloning so now to clone this first i will show you the first method which is object dot assign so which is a very famous method so object dot assign so this is a method which is used to clone the object so now if you want all the source code that i'm using in this tutorial so you can go to my three blog post links that i have given in the video description explaining about each method with practical example this is the first blog post link this is the second one this is the third one so all the links will be there inside video description if you want to get the source code 
so you will see first of all what you need to do is that object dot assign so this is a method this is a built-in method so here you need to provide two arguments first will be the empty object here like this set of curly brackets put a comma and then which object you want to clone so we need to clone this object which is person so we will provide as as an argument here so now if i console log copy object here you will see now it is a clone here so if i refresh the browser you will see in the console this is the same object that we cloned here copy it so if i manipulate something here the name property if i change this to something else and now if i again console log it and also if i console log the original object which was person you will see that the original object is not changed the name is still john williamson latham here but the modified object name is changed here so this is actually called cloning because we are preserving the value of the original object without we are cloning it you can see this is a cloned object so this is the first method this is very simple object dot assign we it takes two arguments first is empty curly brackets and then actual object which you need to clone here so this is a simple now i will show you the second way by which you can clone javascript object which is used by a spread operator so this spread operator you will know it can also work on arrays as well so if you want to create copy object here so inside curly brackets you will write dot 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 so these three dots is called a spread operator and then the name of the object which is called person that's it so if i console log it copy object you will see it will create a clone of it so you will see now this is a clone of this object here and uh, if i show you if i modify any value here copy object name and again if i console or copy object and person so you will see it will preserve the original object value name is not modified here but the clone object is modified so this is actually called clone so you, you can also have a subset properties as well you can also contain an object itself object like this computer science may 56 science 55 so there is some uh, so if you want to change this value so this is actually called as shallow copy of your object shallow copy so this is advanced uh, concept in javascript so if you want to manipulate this value inside your copy object if you change this value like this copy object dot marks dot computer so if you change this value so this will reflect it inside the original as well so if I just show you, so you will see this uh, maths computer is 67 and also inside the original as well, so which is also changed. You will see computer 67. So this subset of objects here, if you want to clone it, if you change the property, it will also reflect it inside the original object as well. So this is the second way. And now I will show you the third way which you can clone an object which is called json.parse method. You can also use this method in order to do this as well which is pretty simple. Again declare copy object json.parse and inside this you will need to write json.stringify which is again a method of javascript and put the original object that's it. So now this will create the clone console log copy object so it has successfully created a clone of the object so these are the three basically methods guys first was uh, object dot assign second was spread operator and third is json dot parse so we have discussed all three methods inside this video with examples so if you want to get all the source code you can go to the video description link and uh, download all the source code and please like the video and i will be seeing you in next video